All right, Brian here with Teledyne API. Uh, I wanted to go over something that a lot of customers ask about uh, that are running our T700, our T700U dilution calibrator with NumaView software. Uh, with our NumaView software, we don't really have a, a direct uh, method for creating and transferring sequences off the calibrator. So I'm gonna step you through kind of a workaround for that. Um, on the left here, I've got our legacy remote software called Apicom running. And on the right, we've got the newer NumaView remote software for our NumaView instruments running. Uh, in both of those cases, I've got the T700U set up here. So you can see uh, it's on you know, .150 on my, I, on my LAN. Uh, it's just running in the other room here. These are the default ports for that. Uh, when we go over onto our Apicom, I've also set that up. Uh, as a Ethernet device, same IP, uh, it's using port 3000. Uh, so those ports are all available on the instrument. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring up this remote interface. So the first thing you're gonna see is, you know, there's really no way to interact with that, that NumaView instrument over our Apicom. Uh, let's now bring up the uh, interface for uh, NumaView remote so we can take a look at that. Take just a moment. All right, we'll drag that in here to get it so everybody can see it. So when we go into my calibrator, we're gonna see that I've got three sequences set up here. I've got my hydrocarbon multipoint set up. I've got seven steps in here. Uh, let's see, we've got a zero, a few dilution points, and a standby down here. Uh, this one happens to be running for 27 minutes for this zero. Uh, I've got another one called zero that's got a couple of steps here, uh, generate zero, and then go into standby. And then another one called Bob, because why wouldn't you have a calibration sequence called Bob? Also generates uh, zero at eight liters for a minute, goes into standby. So, so we can see those are in there. Um, when we come over to our Apicom and we click this configure sequences and say can get config, it's gonna pull those sequences over uh, in into our Apicom. So there we go. We've got our three our three sequences. You can see we're generating. Let's go ahead and change this. Maybe I, I got this as a mistake. Uh, I can edit this here. Let's make that 30 minutes again. Um, let's send that back to the instrument. So now when we come in here and we look at our steps, we'll see it's 30 minutes. That is good. Let's Go over here and let's say we don't want this one anymore. We're going to delete that. Let's send that to the instrument and it's gone. So we're able to do two way, uh, two way stuff here. Uh, maybe I want to configure a sequence. Let's throw in a new sequence here. Uh, we'll, we'll call that Bob again. And we're going to say we're going to enable the timer. Uh, let's put this at uh, today and we'll throw it in at uh, Let's see 8 p.m. here. All right, so we're going to enable that timer and we're going to repeat every one day. No problem there. Let's add a, a couple of steps. Uh, let's say we're going to generate and we're going to generate uh, some NO. Let's generate some NO2. I've got an NO2 bottle in there at 400 parts per billion. Uh, maybe I want to run that a little lower so we'll get rid of the default flow rate. All right, so we've got one step. We've got to add our duration there. So we're gonna throw in a, a duration step and let's put that at 15 minutes. You guys know how to do this, but I'm gonna step through it just to make this kind of a complete video. Uh, we'll throw in another step. Let's say it's a, just a one point. Uh, we're gonna put it in standby. Now, standby still needs a, um, a stop sequence or a time sequence. If we don't do that, it's not gonna transfer. So we're gonna throw in a, a duration here. Uh, let's put in 0 0.1. Okay, so let's send this over there. Send to instrument. All right, we got Bob now. And it's generating 400 ppb of NO2 at four liters for 15 minutes, and it's got a standby bit. So there you go. This is our workaround for uh, transferring sequences. Now I can take this sequence and save it. I can then send it to another instrument if I've got it stored as a file here. Um, we can save that config to the hard drive. Now when I connect to you know my other T700 at another station or on the bench here, uh, I can send the same sequence on through all of those machines. Works really well, it's a little easier to edit it, uh, but hopefully that will uh, solve a lot of problems for you guys that are trying to do this exact thing. Thanks a lot, have a great day.